Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video how to enable the easy mode at the Samsung Galaxy S21 in the Fan Edition. So the easy mode is a very nice mode for starters because it has a simple home screen layout, it has bigger items and texts. So actually we have four in a row here with the apps and so on. So and with the easy mode you have just three apps in a row. So it's a better overview. I will show it in the next step. And what is also very nice, we have a touch and hold delay. So if you accidentally tap somewhere and we're not sure and so on, uh, then uh, it will prevent you from uh, bad actions. Uh, it could prevent you from bad actions. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, uh, for that we need to enable it. So just scroll down here, go to the symbol for the settings. And scroll down a bit here to the point display. And if we scroll down again, yes, we will have here the point easy mode. So it is again a bit, a bit explained here if you want to have a look and enable, you can enable it here. And yeah, as you can see, everything becomes a bit bigger. We have bigger text sizes and so on. And you will see also later that we have bigger um, items as well on the home screen and in the ad drawer and so on and here this is very nice uh, this is a touch and hold delay um, so you have you need to press longer on something yeah? because uh, this prevent you from accidentally touches and so on so very nice for starters and also for the elderly if they never had a smartphone or something like this yeah? and we have also here a high contrast uh, for the display and here in that case also for the keyboard. Okay, let's switch now to the desktop to have a look. Uh, so this is how it looks like. So this is much better organized now, especially for beginners. So you just have uh, three apps here in a row, not four as before. And uh, the items are a bit bigger and so on. And yeah, here on the desktop, you can put now your main stuff. Né? And later you will find the other apps here, always here at apps. And you will have all the other apps in general. Also the notifications, I think it's better organized and so on. The text is a bit bigger, of course. The disadvantage is um, the preview is much shorter then. And um, yeah, but you can concentrate here on the main things. And uh, let's have a look now here on the keyboard. Let me tap here on the uh, Google uh, bar to have uh, the keyboard this is the uh, keyboard here in the easy mode and the contrast is a bit better um, especially for the elderly because uh, we have here uh, black letters on a yellow um, ground so um, if you are started with a smartphone i really recommend this easy mode for you as well if you are um, yeah not a young ager yeah, let me describe it like this and you should really try this and you can switch always later to the regular mode if you feel fit for more. And if you feel fit for more, let me show you now how you can switch it later again. Let's go to the apps so that we have here the point settings. So then go again here on display. You see everything is bigger here so it's much easier to read huh? because they increase the text size and then go here on easy mode, just up there, and it's disabled and you're back in the regular mode. And now you can see a bit the differences. Huh? So you, we have uh, much more apps here in a row and so on, and everything is a bit smaller. And I have increased already the screen zoom a bit, so the, uh, normally the text size is a bit smaller. Uh, I just uh, increase it a bit that you can view it a bit better here in the video for the tutorial. Um, so that just that you can imagine um, the differences. Yeah, I hope I could help you with this. So of course, this is not all for the easy mode, uh, but um, that you have a little impression here uh, for that. And uh, yeah, if you want, if you have any questions, you can uh, ask me in the comments, or um, yeah, you can leave me also some nice compliments <laughs> if you want. I'm joking. Uh, or a thumbs up, that will be really helpful for more videos. Uh, thank you so, so much because it's a big support. And as I said, if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Just uh, write it in the comments. And uh, yeah, I've created also some other videos. If you feel fit for and so on, I have done some uh, first steps you can do, uh, what is very useful for the phones. And also, if you want, you can subscribe me to don't miss a new video. Thank you so, so much for all your support for my channel. 
and uh, yeah, maybe until next time. Mm -hmm. Ciao.